You drive in or am I? Right, well we've got our hands on a Mark III Centurion Hull. It was a runner driver a couple of years ago apparently, but I've got some big, big plans for this. I plan to turn it into one of only one of its type ever made. I'm not going to say what I'm going to do, you can guess in the comments, but it's a Mark III Centurion Hull and I plan to make the only one of its kind ever. So. Uh, have a little think what I might be doing with this. It's going to be a very, very big project and quite interesting. Right. A little look inside. Turn the, turn the, turn the spigot. I don't know, just spin around. Look how easy that is. Hell of a weight, isn't it? Should we, um, should we go and get a rope wrap around it? Yeah. And attach it to the phone. And then just, yeah, like a merry-go-round. And then... So you do the helicopter challenge. <laughs> Sit in the middle. I think I'll be very sick. Oh, that's rather weighty. Oh, yeah, that's great. I can really see what's going on there. That's a long way down. You coming in? You stay there, I'll spin myself You'll spin what? Spin myself into the next position. Let me have the, the light. Oh, yes. That's bizarre with that all going round. That's very weird. Now the light's blinding me. Well, it certainly needs a bit of a clean up in here. Oh, it's still got the power for the turret. Take it that's where the, the power must go to the turret basket through there. So that, that conduit goes up to the front somewhere where the batteries are. These must be just extra ammo under the floor ammo, I take it. When it was a Mark Tree. That actually in awful nick, is it? Big old teeth. They've not done anything though, but there's no there's not a lot of wear in it, is there? No, but when they've been using it for this uh test rig, there's been no no sign of any motor. What's this? That's like the ram. That's the bottom of the ram that must have adjusted okay. the angle of the gun. They must have something to... Well, I reckon, you know, outside it's got that triangle bit. Yeah. I think that was... They probably just pinned it in one position. We'll have a look at it. Put it by hand. Like... Yeah, just manually, because all the photos I've seen of it... Like a cannon. Why is there so many rags in here? Someone's... 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 Feces. Someone's pants. Let's just uh, make a seat out of these ammo bins. Oh, yeah. Ammunition. Bullets. Ammunition. Ammunition. What do you reckon that was then? 33. You reckon? It's a blank though, isn't it? Look. Yeah. No. No? No, it's not. The Look. blanks were crimped over, weren't they? Yeah, but that looks a little crimpy. Oh, really? Don't you think? Yeah, I reckon they were blanks. Were. Yeah, they're blanks for sure. Were. 762s? <laughs> old. Old. Look like I've been in here a day or two. Look at the engine. Oh, so it's got the donkey engine in it still. The best thing to do with that. <laughs> oh, here's the engine scribe. Do you want to try and open that? No, I saw you try and open one the other day and you made yourself look. Very silly. <laughs> <laughs> They're the most difficult thing in the world. What? <laughs> Nothing in it. Oh, someone's stolen the scribe. Bastards. A fuel pump. Yeah, a little ticker pump for a little donkey. To be fair, that might even work. It looks like in a better place there. What does it say on this cover? 
Nothing to remove this cover. Okay. Petrol filter and the auxiliary engine petrol pump. At least it was clear. Right, you didn't have to like search. You didn't do that on any others. That looks tight. Mm. What's in the uh, in the other room over there? Oh, it's a proper little look. Look at that. <laughs> That's wicked. So you can get in there and change. At a show, you can get in there and we could. We could literally in there. We could literally hijack it. Yeah, you better get in there and test out. Test out the room. Go on. Mind your head. Nice set of batteries there. Right now, now let's pretend you're going to change. Oh yes! Look at that. I can even lock you in. You're literally locked in. This is comfortable. That's brilliant, isn't it? Very nice. I don't have to deal with you. Well, I'll, I'll unlock it. <sighs> Idiot, I'm turning it the wrong way. That's proper well built. Oh, oh no. Oh no. That is actually, that's where we're going to stay at a show. <laughs> Look at the welding in here. Christ, that's hell of a bead. Do you reckon that was stick welded? That's like that funny weld, isn't it, where they put powder over it and all that. Imagine just seeing it in the... I bet that was done, though, when it was in the in the hot... Um, what do you call it? In the jig when they spun it on its side. It's not been very... Could well have been. Because look at the... What, migged? Well, the patches are almost are like a stick apart, aren't they? That could have been like one of those massive stick welders. It would have had to have been a stick because... Because he, look, he stopped here, stopped here, stopped here. So they're they're all evenly spaced. Yeah, it would have had to have been a stick. They would have not... A Mark III wouldn't... They wouldn't have had MIG welders then, surely. Early, early... Nobody would have known how to use it. Well, most people still don't. This has got the... Why is it... Oh, God. Look at the cable there. That looks mint. Oh, no, it's only the shielding. I reckon she'll start. Go on, let's, uh, shall we see if anything lives up? <laughs> These literally look the best batteries in the world. These ones have the full. Do you want uh, something to tap that on with? Full meltdown. Go on. I'm ex I am expecting great things. Not even a spark. Go on, it's probably got the isolator off yet. I'm going to go and try it. Go on, then. Yeah? Yeah. If this if this does something, I'll literally be very impressed. And then the isolator was on. <laughs> Ignition. Yeah. She she I don't believe it, but she's flat. Who would have thought? Try and start her. Uh there's a star motor missing. What a surprise. <laughs> Because they were so good and reliable, the start motors on these, they never, literally never broke. Let's have a little look in the driver's area. Ooh. Ooh. Why has it got, are they the battery cables, literally? Yeah. They're very well rooted. I like how it's, it? it's white interior in this, which is unusual, because most of these old things were silver, weren't they? Oh, yes, it's got the cruise control on the yeah. throttle. Where? <laughs> oh, yeah, the yeah. brick. <laughs> what? Why have they done that? That is nice cruise control. How many miles has it done? Many, many miles. It looks in uh, pretty good nick, though. The fact that it's got... I'm impressed with this. Like modern ish style batteries in it, I'd say it was running not too long ago, not all that long ago. And the engine doesn't look in bad condition. I can see that someone has been in the caps because they've not actually closed properly. See that gap? Mm. I'm expecting to see great things in those magnetos. <laughs> yeah, those magnetos. You <laughs> found the magneto bodies actually don't look bad, mm. but the caps, I think, um, I think they'll have to treat it some new caps. The carb. Carb don't look bad, and the internal spark plugs haven't rotted out at all or even began. So, oh, what are the outside? No. Ones? What? 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 What are you spotted? It's got fuel tanks. Yeah, I that's hate that coming job. out. That's got to come out. I'm not running fuel tanks on set. 
The reason I don't run fuel tanks on Centurions in the engine bay is because when they backfire, they catch fire. The last thing you want is a petrol tank next to the thing that gets hot and catches fire. I've so never I've never seen one of these on fire before. You've never seen one on fire? No. I don't recall it at all. <laughs> Every time we do anything with a scent, they catch fire. To be fair, there's no tank this side. Yep, so someone, someone's already... That means someone's, someone's messed with it then. So it wants Citroen Saxo air filters. Wants the engine removing. Yeah, that wants to go in the uh, other centre. Carefully remove it this Ke time. To be fair, that engine is mint. Everybody gets very upset when we take donkey engines out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that, uh, that fuel tank wants uh, given the good news. Mm. Oh, I'm quite impressed with that. It's complete, isn't it? Yeah. It is complete. There's a gear off free. Hmm? Did you give it a wiggle? I'll give it a wiggle now. <laughs> Give it a wiggle. You ready? Uh, no. They are trying to move. Auxiliary uh, <laughs> generator start. It's got a very. Uh, oh, you know that weird cable thing that we were. Yeah. It's literally. It's for the auxiliary. Someone's made it so you can start the auxiliary generator from the front. <laughs> It's actually made quite a good job of. Why would you shove it up round the turret ring when you could have just gone? I don't know, they were just legends, that's why. Yeah, let's put it up around here where it definitely won't get tangled up with anything moving. <laughs> Can you imagine how thick how thick is that? That's a good eight, eight inches. inches. It's not eight inches. <laughs> is that what she told me? <laughs> Nearly poo yourself. <laughs> Boo's going out. Oh, that's not good. I can see the half moons off the quill shafts. Where? Down there, look. Where? Down there. Where? Someone's, someone's messed with it. What does it necessarily mean? I love we lift this up and there's no gearbox in it. <laughs> I, I won't be laughing. <laughs> there's no gearbox in it. I will not be laughing at all. <laughs> Uh, I will contain my uh, mistake if there isn't one. Slightly. To be fair, they want leaving back because they'll actually protect the main engine from getting wet. It doesn't matter so much if the gearbox gets wet. Oh, did I hear water? Yeah, there's juice in it. There's juice. There's a gearbox in it. Oh, there is a gearbox. Oh. Mm. Someone has been quillying. Well, at least they've done it properly. Oh. Ooh. I think it's trying to move. Well, let's lift this one up. See how bad it is. This one, the jaw box, free the brakes on this one. What is that down there? Is that a strop? Yes. Yeah. What have they been doing? I always worry about other people, non cowboys, doing stuff. Ow. Oh, this one's a little tight. <laughs> No one has any idea how heavy these damn things are. Ready? Yeah, I'm gonna get down. Jesus! Oh, what a piece of shit! <laughs> <sighs> hey, that, that gearbox is very stuck. We could put a bar on the engine. It's, oh. oh, yeah, do that. It went. Did it? Yep. Maybe it didn't. What's the best thing on that clutch? She's stuck. There's, there's oh, I would say, there. if I had to guess, I would say there's a thousand percent chance that clutch is stuck. Oh, it wasn't a strop, it's a bit of uh... a. Oh, yeah, for the rad. Thingy Bob, we need to glue that back on. Someone will be going, oh, that's asbestos. So, Shut up. Same as any other scent that's arrived here then. It doesn't run. The clutch is fucked. <laughs> Steering is fucked. Gears? Gears are fucked. Any, any positives at all on this?
Is that an actual ram or is that? Is it? Oh yeah, it's got a Schrader bell on it. Are you creating air? Oh, you've oh, blown air. off. <laughs> oh my God, as if that works. So how would you let it down? Finger it, finger it. Finger it. As if part of it still works. What could we do with that air ram? That looks, that looks like one hell of an air ram. Oh my God. Yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty beasty. I mean, I weigh a good three kilograms and it lifted me like I was nothing. Oh, I think that's a, that's a hell of a thing. Well, that works. Can, the only thing on a Centurion to work with doesn't have beer. And it's nothing to do with Centurion. <laughs> Where are you seeing three? All I can see is green. Okay, yeah, yeah, fair enough. OS said R60. 08. 08. Right. Apparently the, the date of the hull is on these eyelets at the back, so it's a very, very reliable source of mine. So we're gonna try and find out what the date is. Um, so I need to put on my PPE. Operate. Operate such high power machinery for this job. Something there, I don't know what that happens to be, but it means. Come on, focus. Oh, 181, mark 3, so 3, maybe. Yeah. Terrible. Look better without the hat on or with the hat on? Hmm, good question. Try the hat on. Hmm, debatable. You're gonna have to ask the viewers. That's better, I don't. Right, well thank you all for watching. Um, this is probably gonna be the biggest project we've ever done and we're gonna take it very seriously. And stay tuned for the next episode of the Mystery Vehicle.